Hey guys, it's Mark, aka Christ169, coming to you with another upload. Um, before I start the video, please like, subscribe, share my videos for everyone around. I have lost a couple subscribers. I understand that as normal. Like I said, you know my you know my channels come and go as you please. You know I'm not gonna hold it against nobody if my channel starts doing that. No, I don't bother me at all. It's what it is. So live, so share it, comment down below, thumb up, thumb down. I'm going to discuss here the Call of Duty community and why is Call of Duty becoming this a watered down version of it. So it's becoming Halo. And it's worse than Halo. At least with Halo, you have a lineage. Call of Duty, a lot of people haven't even played the older games or care about the older games anymore. It's no longer about the experience, it's about get in there, pump it out. And why is Call of Duty so bad? Why is Call of Duty bad? Why is it becoming the laughing joke of the game? Blame Truth the Godfather takes too much of this personal. I think he needs to have you know a little less coffee, sit down and you know reflect on some life choices. Um, myself, I think people need to accept the fact that Call of Duty is not what it used to be. Call of Duty of old is dead. Like wrestling is no longer going back to the way it was when it, the way of the roots. Or the movies or TV shows we used to like when I was a kid are no longer going to be tackling issues that mean to us. It's just going to be doing things that are just, you know, normal. It's just going to be, you know, doing it's my controller here, by the way, PSI controller, um, doing the normal stuff. Activision doesn't care. Okay, they want money, and you know, they love money and they want tons of it. So they keep pushing out this game to casuals. You have to understand though. Like I said before, casuals make up 80% of the market uh, 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 whatever you're buying or selling or uh, whatever you're buying, playing, or using. Casuals. Like, I once again, this is my analogy. I'm going to use it again. I got, and, you know, I got from Adam Kirit. I'm subscribed to him down below. Watch his videos. Great stuff he does with gaming. Um, but here it is. I own a pair of shoes. You own a pair of shoes. Many people in the world own a pair of shoes. Shoe companies make money off of you. But how many people do you do 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 I know you know <clears throat> who are sneakerheads? I don't know too many of them. Who have YouTube channels, talk about shoes, go to shoe conventions, you know, they talk about shoes, you know, Jordan or whatever, Nike, whatever. Not people I know do that kind of stuff. Okay? So that being said though, that being said, you know, Majority of gamers are casual. They're not hardcore, middle finger, tongue sticking out, pierced ring, skateboarding, drinking monster, playing Call of Duty. No. What they are, are in fact the 30, 40 somethings, maybe 20 something, mostly people who are adults like myself, who have, you know, uh, who have a uh, disposable income, who have a house like I do, who have, may, have, may have a family. I don't have one. But who have, you know, disposable income to go out there and go buy the latest Call of Duty or the, or the latest Battlefield or whatever. In this case, about Call of Duty. Uh, and play it and enjoy it and get rid of it when they're done with it. That is a casual gamer. And Activision realize they can farm a unique market. Okay. They realize, hey, we can sell this casual gamers. You know, Timmy No Thumbs and Johnny, you know, a no skill. And... We we you know we'll make a buttload of money, and they did. Modern Warfare 2 sold about as much as Modern Warfare 2 sold when it first released in 2009. Say that again. This Modern Warfare 2 remake, remaster, we're gonna call it <coughs> remake, redub, we're gonna call it 2022 sold better than the original Call of Duty of 2009 because it had skill-based matchmaking put in. And it's no longer the die-hard, spin trolling, no scoping, you know, you know, um, MLG players. Yes, they're still there. And, and you might ask, you now, what is skill-based matchmaking? Well, it, it to make it layman's terms, it takes you know, you know, Timmy No Thumbs and Johnny No Skill, and puts them into a lobby. Well, they get mowed down by three or four uh, teams. By the third or fourth match, they start getting better because. The algorithm starts making them almost like, you know, not an MLG player, but a decent player. Now, they're going from being sucky is terrible to being, hey, you know, I'm actually positive. And they keep 
plane. Why? Because that's a casual base. The casual gamers are not the ones who are 10 press chasing, fin trolling, nose scoping people across the map. That's your, that's your damn freaking, you know, your hardcore gamer. And out of that hardcore gamer, about 10% of them are actually the enthusiasts who have the prestige and do all this stuff and get all the crap and all the garbage. And out of that 10% of that, of that 20%. So, what does that mean for the rest of us? It means they know we're being pretty much into, you know, we're pretty much into, into being turned to Swiss cheese. I'm a hardcore gamer, but I'm very casual on Call of Duty. I don't, I don't play 10th prestige. I don't even care if I win, I win a match or not. That's just how I am. I just don't care. Um, because I have more fun playing adventure games like uh, Ratchet and Clank or Tomb Raider or whatever. I, to me, that's my crack. I, I, I have to play an adventure game. And, and Spider Man, I have to beat Spider Man on Ultimate Spider Man or, or Amazing Spider Man. I gotta be an I gotta be the highest level. And, and, and when I play Call of Duty back in the day, I beat every game on Veteran. Motor man, people who 10th prestige couldn't even you know and, 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 and get past first checkpoint of the first uh, of the first map or the first mm -hmm. campaign. Because, oh, it's stupid. No, it's just these people are not jumping in front of you getting shot. You, know, you have to kill these people. And, and they're all pewter control AI. You know, not 12-year-olds. That's why I think, I think Call of Duty has gone down the toilet. Because skill-based matchmaking, yes, has, thing, has done its worst. You know, I was really good on, on Black Ops 1. I got good, if you want to call it. Get good. You know, and I played it all the time because it was a good game to play. Black Ops 1 and 2 were great. Cold War was decent. I, I was pretty good in Cold War. Even though, you know, when, when you died, uh, your uh, strength or scores didn't reset. I'm waiting to see that happen. I'm waiting for Call of Duty to come out and say, you know what, we're not resetting anybody's any more streaks anymore. I know in Modern Warfare 3, the original one, if you were under specialist, your kill streaks didn't reset. They just stayed where it was, and you slowly... You had to get two kills to get one point. So you had to get, you know... And I got UAVs a lot, and whatever. I threw them down, whatever. Like, I was never good enough to play the game. Like Specialist or Assault. So having that in there, you know, didn't take away from the team who was good. I just mean, I threw down a lot of uh, support stuff. Like UAV, counter UAV, UAV. I mean, I had a couple rockets in there. made it once or twice, the rockets in there. But I actually helped the team out. This call of duty makes me feel like you know you have to carry you know, like an infant, like oh, I'm playing the game now, and, 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 and I'm like a special kid, I'm like, 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 you know, like an infant, like a special kid. They're like oh, I'm playing the game now, I'm, I'm walking around trying to play the game, and it, you feel like you're just you know on the special call of duty bus, a little short bus, and like really, it's been it's making these people feel like they're stupid. Because skill based matchmaking doesn't help anybody. This is why Call of Duty has taken a big hit from a lot of hardcore fans. But Activision doesn't care because they've made over a billion dollars off the game sales alone. They're still making money off the damn freaking skins and all the crap these indie people are buying. See, a casual gamer will probably buy a gold edition or silver, probably a gold edition of Call of Duty, for example, just to have some stuff. To, hey, I got the stuff cool. That's a hundred bucks is going into Activision's pocket. The elitist, the five percent or or ten percent of that, will buy the two hundred dollar edition because they're stupid and they got tons of money and they're living off the mommy's. The mommy buy your credit card, and they, and they, you know, buy two hundred dollars worth of Call of Duty crap. Those people, what Activision used to go after, now they don't go after anymore. Because they go after people who are the skill based match making kind of cream of the crop. The ones that don't have good skill but will quit the game in a week because they can't, you know, you know uh, they're tired of being, you know, turned into Swiss sheets. This is why skill-based matching comes into play. It swifts a switch where the team now is mowing you down becomes a hunted. I have seen when I played Call of Duty a couple times and, and I won three matches in a row. I was playing with a friend of mine we're playing we're on Xbox Live. He was playing Call of Duty too as well, but no, we 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 weren't in the same game because we're both playing Call of Duty, but you know different matches. Both in because we both have game Game Pass and Ultimate on PC. I said, yeah, uh, it's going to change. And right after the next match, I started getting killed by these Zam 
no low level people. No, I'm like a, I think I'm a level 107. I was probably at level 80 or 90 at the time, maybe 60. And there were probably five or tens. So it turned the switch. Well, I got mowed down by these people. Yeah, uh, the algorithm picks and chooses what it wants to. So now I started reverse boosting. Well, I just get killed constantly. And I gain more points because of that. The problem is with that is, though, people find that they're doing that. People got astronomical amount of points. I'm on time. I got I got about twenty I got twenty five thousand XP points. Just dying three times, dying every match three times, and all together, not one time, but all together in different matches, I got close to twenty five thousand XP. Those Call of Duty gun runners got maybe fifteen, eighteen thousand XP. They reward me more for just sucking tremendously. See, skill based matchmaking is, is rough, but also makes it more rougher. Cheaters getting involved. I can't uh, I can't remember the clan name. It was clan something. Um, that was an, uh, um, a lot of his community, a lot of, lead, a lot of the members were fired. Uh, one clan or whatever it's called something that um, a lot of people were cheating in Warzone. And Warzone's a cheating place. And the racket, in, in the ricochet, or ratchet, whatever you call it, thing, and cheat doesn't work at all. Um, because it doesn't work. This just stuff does not work. I mean, it, it doesn't because you can't. You, know, you have to go into everything and have it go into the carnal, into every PC, and check. And some of these damn codes they have are so good that you only know, on like regular files. It can be like picture files and be, be embedded in there. And that, and you sure as hell, Activision don't want somebody. Hey, you're looking at my pictures. And they sue Activision, and Activision has to pay millions of dollars. So that's why a lot of the stuff is not working. But Activision, you know, did sue a company thing out in Phoenix that was handing out the buy, that was selling cheats for its game, and had to pay like fourteen million dollars. What it was. So there's some light there, but I don't think that, that this is going to be a big win for anyone. Uh, big win for anyone really, because Call of Duty to me is almost dead in the water. I mean, it's it's no longer. The game of the gamers. It's a game of the cat. It's a game of, it's a game of the casuals, and that's fine to me. But I also don't like the fact people are camping in broad daylight in the middle of the damn garbage cans and hiding, because it, it it just becomes bad. Well, well, camping is a military strategy. Yeah, when you're holding the position, not when you're in the middle of nowhere, you know, next to a garbage can. It's just people just don't understand how stupid this looks. You buy a sixty to seventy dollar game to hide next to a garbage can. I don't get it. I mean, and it's probably why I play games like uh, Spider Man a lot more, you know, Tomb Raider games like because because you know games that you no know, because it's fun for me. I better play a game where I'm being challenged, and you know, in my you know in my knowledge of a game, than play a game where I have to oh my god I have to remember this person's hide map. It's like really. It's like this just becomes so damn daunting that it's no longer fun anymore. It's useless, it's repetitive, and people don't want to do it anymore. So I think that act, this this Call of Duty could be a worse one. Uh Call of Duty Black Ops Six may not be very good for it. It may actually do a lot of bad things for it though. It may have a lot of bad rep repetition on it. It may have a lot of negative cost because I think Right now, people are getting tired of Call of Duty. Even Battlefield has cam campers all over the place. It's becoming a point now where, where the campers have just ruined the gaming experience for everyone. And no one seems to care. Well, they're going to care when the casuals start leaving because they're, they're tired of, of having campers killing. Because even the casuals are camping and are getting tired of uh, you know casuals camping. It makes no damn sense what I said. But you have to understand where it's coming from. Okay? People don't understand why campers are in, in, people are doing this. I have my reasons, but I think people just camp because they, like I said, they have to feel superior. You know, it's just you know, it's this masculinity. They you know they don't have a home. Maybe their father is you know not a masculine person. You know, uh, I, I, I mean, their life is totally a torpedoed nightmare. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But I do know one thing, though. Call of Duty cannot, will not, will, will not survive like this. Call of Duty cannot survive. This is my two-minute uh, 
one in here. My final thoughts are, Call of Duty cannot survive like this. They have to go back to the roots. They have to get rid of something. They can make a specialist class where, you know, uh, your uh, your kills or well, what do you call them, you know, don't reset upon death. Like I'm out over three. And do that in every Call of Duty game uh, from here to the end of time. Just click on a play style. You click on your playlist, play style, assault, support. And make it support. Support or make it like the same thing as like support. Uh, because the specialist was different, the support, yeah, uh, your kill diff didn't reset. That would be fine then. And then and all you get is UAVs and counter UAVs. You know, hey, you should, you know, at least you're doing something. At least you're actually trying to do something. And then one day you turn that off and go to assault and try to win. You know, but I don't think Call of Duty is going to be going back to any time soon, back to the roots. I think Call of Duty is pretty much done. And then we get, no, I got shot by Nicki Minaj. Like, yeah, I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I like it. this is no longer a game for me. You know, and it's sad though, because Call of Duty was a real fun game at one time. But you know, we'll see it in Black Ops Six when it releases. And yes, I will download it on Game Pass and I'll give it a try, see how how the dumpster fire it is. And then and, and I'll report back to you guys when I play it. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna have some more news about the uh, uh, ESPN Disney Direct TV issue. I will probably have a little more information on that. I may say a little more about it, but may not. Because a lot of people are here right now are kind of commenting about it right now. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching my upload. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.